All right, so I am going to do a quick DIY tutorial of how to do loop pillows so you can get something that looks similar to this picture right here. I've been getting a bunch of inquiries, so I will just do a tutorial how I do it. I'll try to do a small one just so you can get the kind of a picture and then I'll try to help walk you guys through it step by step. So um, what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna get some type of loop yarn. Here is the brand, it's called Burn It Ali's Blanket Easy. Um, that's the brand I have so you can screenshot that if you would like. You can either get that online I know for sure Joann's here in my hometown has it. I'm sure you could go to Hobby Lobby, get it, maybe even Walmart. Haven't checked those two places, but I know for sure Joann's carries it. So we will get started. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna get your string, you're gonna lay it all out. You wanna untwist it so it all lays. You wanna make sure that the tail end of your string right here is gonna be on your right hand side and you want that laying all facing upwards. Now, what you'll do is you're gonna count out how many loops you want. In this tutorial, we'll just do 10. Typically, the pillows that I have been making have been 18 by 18, so they require 26 loops if you are making an 18 by 18 pillow. Um, but for this demo purposes, we will be doing 10, so it's a little bit easier to keep along with. All right, so you're gonna make sure that they're all laying upwards and you want them to lay as flat as possible just because it is a lot easier to tighten them and you get a little less confused and you don't skip over as many if, if you do skip over any at all. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so we have 10 loops right here. So it's gonna look like this, got 10 loops. Let me just make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. perfect. Got 10 loops. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take loop 11, you are going to then lay it against the back of the other, of loop 10, and you are going to pull loop 11 through loop 10, and you will pull up with loop 11. So then it gives a look like that. And you are gonna to continue to do that. So then you go to loop 12, put it in loop eight. Again, put it through the back, pull up. And typically I like to wait till I get to three or four of them before I really try to tighten them because I've noticed that sometimes I have had been unlucky with that. So here we go for 13 and seven. We will pull through, 13 is gonna be pulled up. And we'll do that again. Trying to do this in a way where it's still slow-mo so people can see if need be. Okay, because when I've been looking, because I haven't found really good ones, a lot of them kind of went over the logistics and the basics, but they didn't really give a breakdown. So for somebody like me who was trying to do it and can learn mostly hands-on, it was kind of confusing. So I mean, if it's definitely confusing, you can leave a, let me know and leave a comment, but um, this is what I've learned and how it's worked for me. Okay, I think we're on our last one. Yes, yeah, so one. Okay, so when you get it, it is going to look like this. Okay, so here is what I do. Let me unloop this yarn just a little bit. It's kind of tight. Okay. So I like to go to the very edge. So start with the very first um, loop 10 and I pull up on those loops that we've pulled up. And before that's, I do that before I start with another line. 
um, because what I have found is if you do that, you are more likely to catch any mess ups that you have before you get into the next line because when I started learning how to do this, I messed up a bunch and I got to the point where I was all the way done with the back side of the pillow and then had found out that I had to redo the whole entire thing and I was not happy because you spend hours and hours and when you're working with children and you're staying home, that gets to be very tedious. So for instance, sorry, for instance, so for instance, like in this first line, I definitely had a miss up. So that's okay. You're just going to take it back. I apologize for the dogs in the background, but you will take it back to where you had your hiccup. You will lay them all flat out. Okay, so we're just about there. Okay, so then you go pull them out, then you redo it and pull up again. And I, if you are doing this with me, let me know what you've liked so far about doing this. This is Something that's nice to do when you're home alone and you get that depressive phase. I've noticed that this helps me quite a bit. So, um, yeah. And if you're watching this, just let me know where you're tuning in from. Okay, so we fixed our previous mistake. Hopefully these dogs don't bark again so I can finish this first half. Okay. And so I personally like to just put it, turn it to the back because then you're more than likely to catch it. But this is what the second row looks like onto the first. And so what you do is you just keep repeating the process. So once you get from left to right, you're going to go back to right to left. And for the third row, what you will end up doing, you could skip forward if you're just watching this on the replay. Um, but once you get to that third row, you are going to take that same loop, loop it through, pull it up, and you will just keep repeating the process. I am trying to do it a little bit slower just because, like I said, I've seen videos where people quickly skim right to the end and you don't really get to see the process in between and... As a person that is learning a project like this, it gets to be a little confusing. Okay. Almost done with that third row. Okay. And again, remember what I've said. So make sure you pull it tight. And then you go from the farthest side of where you originally started of that row. You pull them up a little bit, just give them a nice little tug. Once you have done tighten them, you, I like to, like I said, I like to flip it over to make sure that there is no mistakes. Thankfully this row does not. So this is kind of what the start of a little pillow with 10 loops is gonna be. Um, and if you want to see more, just keep on, keep posted in my other videos and I will go through a step-by-step -step of how to do each section of the pillow. So then you can eventually make them at your own, like at your own time and your own convenience. So I hope this was good for you all. Make sure to click the like, comment, and share if you are interested in this. And I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.